Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to introduce you to one of the new bikes I'll be running this year. I picked it up a couple of days ago. It's a 2020 Norco Optic C3. So it's this little ripper behind me. Uh, just been out to Kersbrook today to test her out for the first, first time. Grab myself some of this goodness from Kersbrook Hill. There's a sample on that now. Um, yeah, first thoughts on this bike is it is an absolute trail weapon. The geometry on it is closer to an enduro bike. So it's a 65 degree head angle and 76 seat angle. Um, it's a medium frame. I'm 5 foot 8 or 172 centimeters and uh, fits really good. 450 millimeter reach. Um, 29 inch wheels, but this is the first 29er I've ridden where I can honestly say that it doesn't feel like it's got big wheels. It's so nimble. Um, kind of took a little bit of adjusting for me to get used to. Um, I'm still really not quite up to speed on it yet, but it was super capable. I was really impressed. Um, I've gone by the Norco Rider Line recommendation. They have like several tiers of um, skill level that you can set your bike up to. And I've gone for the... So they go all the way from beginner to pro and I've gone about like two down from the most difficult because I like to ride pretty hard and this bike is a bit shorter travel. So it's a 140 millimeter pike on the front and a 125 millimeter Rock Shop Deluxe Ultimate DH. That's a bit of a mouthful on the back, which feels amazing by the way. Um, at first I set up with an analog shock pump and um this yeah the settings were a little bit off so i used my friend brian's digital gauge today and set it close to what they recommended which was for my weight of 72 kilos um with my gear on um 75 psi in the fork and 180 psi in the rear and that feels pretty bang on um pretty stoked with that uh feels very supportive um a, a nice platform to push against and you can get quite aggressive with it and it doesn't really complain too much i mean there's no getting around the fact that it is shorter travel but like um after i got used to it today um drop the bars down a little bit like they recommend um and yeah i felt like in a good position and like i could attack by the end of the day and it certainly wasn't holding me back and managed to keep up with a few enduro bikes and whatnot today but i can only see it getting a little bit better so Let's have a quick look at the actual bike itself. So the lighting in here isn't the best, but we'll, we'll do what we can do. Um, so you can see it's a, a 2020 Norco Optic C3. So it's got a carbon mainframe. Um, this is actually my first carbon fiber bike. Um, alloy chain stays. Uh, the dropper post is an X-Fusion Matic, which I'm used to for my stump jumper Evo, and I really like it. Lever, I don't really like all that much, but I'll get used to it. It seems like it needs to be, um, don't know if you can see that very well, but there's a little bit for the lever that tends to slip up if you don't have it really tied against the, the brake, like underneath the brake clamp as well. So that's pretty, yeah, there you go, so it, it rotates, so that's pretty fiddly. The lever itself worked fine. Um, there was ergon grips, which I haven't used before, but surprisingly liked them quite a lot. Um, they're a little bit thin, so I'll probably put my DMR death grips on it eventually. Um, but these are pretty good, like they're, they're very grippy. Um, Pike Select was pretty good. Um, at first it was a little bit mushy. It's got one token in it, like they recommend for me, um, 75 PSI, like I said, 140 uh, mil travel. It's got Debonair spring, which I'm not sure if it's the update or not, but if it's not, I'm probably going to put the um, the Charger 2.1 and the, um, the new Debonair in it if it doesn't have it already, so it's pretty good. Uh, this is the RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate DH. Feels killer. I think it's got four and a half tokens in it, um, 180 PSI. So you can see I was getting ring pretty close to the to the bumper. 
And that was off a jump track at the end. Um, yeah, pretty good. I liked that. SRAM NX, um, pretty finicky at the moment actually. Like, I forgot how crap the derailleurs are for these. But I think also whoever put this together has made the chain too long. So I'm gonna have to muck around with that because there's just no tuning it properly. Stands flow S1 wheels. Um, I think these are the cheaper ones. They feel okay so far. Uh, I'm getting cush core in the front and rear pretty soon, so that should help a fair bit. Didn't have any dramas with them today. The hub engagement's kind of shit. Um, it's not noisy, which I like because the bike's very makes the bike very silent. Um, but yeah, it's I don't know. It's just an average wheel set, I guess. Like it'll do the trick. It's, it's pretty heavy. The, the, what the rear one is, the front one's fine. I think a lot of that is to do with the NX cassette, um, which is about half a kilo or more. So potential upgrade in the future. For now it's fine. The bike itself is quite light, um, much lighter than what I'm used to. So it's pretty pretty nice. I like the color, the finish is really good. I've, I've covered the whole thing in um, 3M tape because I'm feeling a bit precious about it still. So. See how that goes. I like the color. It's kind of like a BMW M series gray. I like it. Um, the tires are actually, I've never run Schwalbs before. Quite like them actually. Um, Magic Mary front, hand stamp, rear. They feel the whole tires overall, they feel like pretty soft compared to Maxxis I'm used to, but they actually have loads and loads and loads of traction. So it's nice to have some confidence in corners like that. Um, I can see myself getting very used to this bike and um, being able to go pretty big on it. Um, the reason I got this is because um, most people who know me know that I'm like, I'm actually probably a better XC trail rider than I am a downhiller or enduro guy, even though I do like those better. But I've always gone with the heavy enduro bikes and done huge rides on them. But, um, yeah, I want. I when I saw this bike come out, it really spoke to me with the enduro angles because I do like to ride my bikes pretty hard, but I love to do long rides and technical XC, and this just like this speaks volumes to me. So I was all over it. Managed to hook up a good deal, and here we are. So stay tuned for plenty more to come on this. So that's just some initial thoughts. Um, typical boring. <laughs> first ride review and all that stuff but you know we've got to get it out of the way so expect to see a lot of videos on this bike and also i have another one coming pretty soon so cheers thanks for tuning in uh, there was um actually one more thing that i wanted to mention and it is the brakes on this bike um i'm definitely more of a shram guy because i like the modulation that they offer um this has shimano four pots so I think they're like the the basic the entry level four pots um, they stop you okay but um, I had several problems with the feel of them over the course of the day um, they took a while to bed in which is normal but um, I got a lot of like um, kind of like jacking when I'd hit them hard, slowing down and like rattling and stuff like that. Nothing seems to be loose, but they're super noisy and they, I don't know, they, they kind of lock up funny and um, skip with the lever. Like, I don't know how to put it really. Like it just, it feels clunky and inconsistent and yeah, didn't really like them all that much, but I'm hoping they'll grow on me. If not, I'll just upgrade to something else. But yeah, that's something to note if you are looking at this bike that the brakes just aren't the greatest if you're going to ride it quite fast but i guess that's a small price to pay for such a cool frame but yeah anyway take it easy